Today on 3D Outdoors, we're going to be jumping into the Spirited Holiday Countdown Calendar by JJ's, right after this. All right, on this first video, just a little quick background story on JJ's. They have a program on Wednesdays called Whiskey Wednesday, where you can go in and try a flight of whiskeys, get entered into a drawing for a chance to have the chance to purchase some allocated items. Great program. Before they opened back up again, shall we say, after what the, happened in the recent past, they also had a program where you could take it home and they would do web presentations, give all kinds of information on what you were tasting, what you should expect. They'd have distillers on and all kinds of different experts in the field just doing presentations. It was very educational, enjoyed that a lot. So I always look forward to the holiday countdown calendar, 25 half ounce samples that you can take home and do the same thing. And every day, Tom, the owner, puts out a flyer of information on their website that explains the item that you're going to be tasting. Today in the first one we are tasting Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond and some of you may know and those of you that don't know Heaven Hill is the ones or the distillery that brings you Elijah Craig, Larceny, Evan Williams and of course Heaven Hill. Now this is a bottled in bond that was just recently brought into our area so it's an allocated item yet so unfortunately can't buy this off the shelf at the store if I try it and I really like it I'll have to wait till they get some more in JJ's lists their VIP price now they have a program at JJ's so if you're a member of their rewards program you get a discount on Wednesdays on Whiskey Wednesday that would bring this bottle from $69.99 down to $55.99 so a decently priced bottle, it's uh, obviously 100 proof if it's bottled in bond and to be bottled in bond it has to be in the bonded warehouse at least four years I believe if I'm not mistaken but this is a seven year old bourbon obviously from Kentucky they recommend drinking it neat or on the rocks or in an old fashioned. Let's see what Tom says for tasting notes here, and then we'll find the first one here and pour it myself and give it a try. And Tom states that it has an amber color. On the nose, he gets vanilla, honey, rich caramel. He says it drinks really good for 100 proof, and he gets caramel and honey notes while he's drinking it, and a little bit of a hug at the end, which you'd probably expect with a 100 proof item. So let's find our first one here. Let's see if I agree with him on this. It's always neat to listen to experts in the field, reviewers and whatnot. You can see this first one there is dated 12-1. Nice half ounce jars there. We'll grab our JJ's Glen Claren. Don't even have the 3D Outdoors one over here today. We're using the one that goes with the establishment. Get that off of there. Put the sticker on the paper. Pour it in the glass there. And let's see if we agree with him on it. Seven years is a decent amount of age on a bourbon. It's not old, but it's not young in my opinion. 100 proof should give it a little bit of a, a zing to it. Swirl it around there a little bit. And he had stated on the nose that he had vanilla, honey, and rich caramel. And it has a golden amber. It does. It's not dark, but it's not overly transparent either. Probably right where a, a seven-year would be with any other particular distiller. Yep, there's that vanilla, and of course the caramel. I get maybe a little bit of 
red fruit or spice as well. I'm not really getting the honey, but I'm getting a little, little red fruit, I think. Let's see how it tastes. Definitely has, and I wish I could figure out what that flavor was. When Anthony and I, and they don't stay Yellowstone on here anywhere, but that one day that Anthony and I were tasting Yellowstone out at the HQ, I said it tasted like the Larceny. Now, Larceny is also made by Heaven Hill. Now, I don't get this flavor when I drink the Elijah Craig's, and I really like their quarterly releases of the Elijah Craig's. But I have a, and it's not as strong in this, but there's that little bit of a unique flavor that I can't quite put my finger on. If any of you know what it might be and if you've had this or the Yellowstone or the Larceny, uh, please put it in the comments down below. There is just a certain unique flavor that I haven't been able to put a, a word to. I don't have anything in my palette library, shall we say, to, to absolutely nail that down. But I do have the caramel and the taste. Obviously, you're going to gonna get some oak because it's in a charred oak barrel. A little bit of spice. I definitely agree he has with spice, and there's definitely a little bit of spice there, but it drinks good for a uh, $56 bottle, yeah. And I, I would definitely agree that this would make a good old-fashioned. It has enough strength, enough flavor in there that if you put some whatever kind of sweetener you put in there, a sugar cube or your sugar water or agave or whatever you're going to put in there for a sweetener or in my case I would probably use like one of the alithrol uh, sweetener mixtures to put in there and then you put your bitters, your cherry and your your orange, you're still going to have the bourbon come through and you're still going to get a bit of spice out of that because there's enough strength there. So, yep, definitely, but I just can't, it has that unique flavor. Again, if any of you know what that would, would relate to, what kind of uh, a baking spice or, and it's not one of the, the baking spices I can think of, but there's a definitely distinct flavor that I'm catching in this that I always catch in the Larcenies and I catch in the Yellowstone. So, if you know what that is, put it down below, but... Overall, I agree with Tom 100% in his notes on this. It's a, it would be a great bottle for $56. Make great mixed drinks. You can drink it neat as I'm doing now. Don't have any ice or water in it. You could definitely put a cube in it, tone it down a little bit if you wanted to. But uh, there you go. Day one of the Spirited Holiday Countdown calendar by JJ's Heaven Hill Bottled in Bond. This is Dan with 3D Outdoors reminding you to get into the outdoors and enjoy everything it has to offer. If you like this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, and you can always follow us over at 3d-outdoors.com, which is our website where we pull everything together. Yeah.